good evening. My name is Ann Vans Lapis in Second Life and Marie Vans in First Life. Um, I have just recently graduated from the MLIS program at um, San Jose State University. And um, my presentation tonight is actually going to be about how I used my virtual world experience here and in other places and integrated it into my Masters of, Li Masters of Library and Information Science ePortfolio requirement at the San Jose State University iSchool in order to get the, the MLIS. So what I'm going to do, just to, um, to give you some um, quick context, is I want to quickly describe why we librarians should even want to use um, virtual worlds in our, for our work. And, and I'll describe what an ePortfolio is and how competencies associated with librarianship are expressed in the ePortfolio. And so finally, I will de demonstrate, and this is the, the heart of my talk, is I'll demonstrate how I used my virtual world experience in my ePortfolio to address specific competencies. Okay, so why would we want to use virtual worlds in our work? Well, for one thing, they're a great distance-based platform from which to practice librarianship. As you've already seen, people here have, have already shown various ways in which they've um, been practicing librarianship in, here in, in Second Life. Um, virtual worlds allow us to interact with each other in a way that is more immersive than other digital platforms, such as online meeting environments, MOOCs, and chat functionality. And I, I don't know how many of you have to do like GoToMeeting or, or even, um, I guess it's Collaborate here for um, the iSchool, but I, the virtual worlds are just much more, feel much more immersive than, than those types of platforms. Um, for example, there's already many um, virtual world libraries in Second Life that provide traditional services such as reference, reader's advisory, educational and curation of development of collections. As, as Elise alluded to, she does reference over at CVL and they have book discussions and, 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 and reader's advisory over there as well. Um, CVL is a great example that provides, they provide many of the services for, um, for librarians for our librarianship. Virtual worlds allow us to provide data, knowledge, or information to people who are interested in using our collections. Um, additionally, virtual worlds can act as a international hubs for the collection of related information in order to manage, document, and store it for further use. So at San Jose State University iSchool, students who are working on either a Master's of Library and Information Science or Master's of Archiving and Records Administration degree are required to complete a culminating experience. This, this experience, this, this shows evidence of their competence in a, in a series of skill areas. So instead of the traditional thesis, students can also, or they can choose instead to complete this e-portfolio, which documents their mastery of program outcomes or competencies. So I've included here the URL for more information um, that we can, you can find out about the ePortfolio for both the, I, the MLIS and the MARA programs. Okay, so while the MLIS and the MARA programs are different, there are some competencies that can be mapped between the programs. For example, experience related to competency B in the MLIS is similar to competency F in the MARA program. And I'm not going to go through these because specifically, but if you, we're going to leave these slides up and if you want to read this in more depth, you can. You can. Um, Competency H is the same between both programs, and competency M in the MLIS program contains part of the requirements for competency M in the MARA degree. So I will be showing how my own personal experience applied to specific MLIS competencies, but in many cases these experiences would have applied equally to the MARA portfolio. Okay, so I'm going to go quickly through most of these through these competencies. Um, so these are the ones I was able the ones I was able to use um, for my e-portfolio, um, which I only just finished last April. And I will first I will quickly describe what the competency is, and then on the following slide I'll just describe the evidence I used for that um, for that competency. 
So, for con so Confidence CB states, each graduate of the Master of Library and Information Science program is able to describe and compare organizational settings in which information professionals practice. For this competency, the student must be able to show they understand all organizational settings for this, for this example. And, and here I'm focusing on digital libraries. I will not read this slide, but, but it, it is an excerpt, and most of the slides when I, when I put up the competency with the, the actual quote from what the competency says, um, it will be excerpts from my ePortfolio where I describe what I know about the competency. This is what you do before you, you um, talk about your evidence. Okay, so my evidence, I, for, so the evidence I used for this particular competency um, was to show that um, it was part of a class assignment and I was, that I was able to develop a professional network. And um, we've heard earlier this evening about, um, especially from Lori, about the, um, the various courses that were taught here in, um, in Second Life, and I took all of them, um, all of them that I could. So th for this particular um, for this particular competency, I was I was able to um, show that I could develop a network, a professional network of people that I could rely on for mutual support. Um, specifically, I showed the evidence of my work as part of the largest library in, in the virtual world, InWorlds. Um, and these images are actual images from my ePortfolio as evidence that I have worked on exhibits there. Okay, so for competency C, each graduate of the Master of Library and Information Science program is able to recognize the diversity, such as cultural and economic, in the clientele and employees of the information organization. So, and they need to be familiar with the actions the organization should take to address the diversity. So again, I am showing here part of my understanding of what, you, what diversity means, and specifically, I focus on gender as a group. So for my evidence, I, show, I showed work as, that I did as a labor of love, really. I, I have my own island on the virtual world of Kitely, whose focus is on helping 12, K through 12 educators to help encourage girls to consider STEM, or science, technology, engineering, and math careers. What, what is interesting is that I created the opportunity for myself and used both the work on the island as well as presentations that I have done on this work as evidence in my ePortfolio. So Competency D says each graduate of the Master of Library and Information Science program is able to apply the fundamental pr principles of planning, management, marketing, and advocacy. Again, here I'm only going to show you um, what I've done with one piece of this definition, which is marketing. And again, you can come back and read these. I, I'm, I don't want to spend time reading them um, to you. So my evidence for this was work as both a volunteer on Vacara and an internship I did for Dr. Franks on Vacara. Here I'm showing the posters I made for our annual conference in 2015. And so these are, this is promotional materials for the marketing piece of that particular um, competency. So for competency F, each graduate of the Master of Library and Information Science program is able to use the basic concepts and principles related to the selection, evaluation, organization, and preservation of physical and digital information items. Evaluation and preservation is an important aspect of this competency, and as I alluded, alluded to in, an early, in earlier, something that needs to be addressed here, because virtual worlds can change quite often. So I actually presented two pieces of evidence to address this competency. The first was a presentation I did at the Archiving 2015 conference on how we were able to use social media and cloud storage to document and preserve experiences that we orchestrated in virtual worlds. Another piece of related evidence was work I did as an intern for Dr. Franks where I evaluated resources for a new venue I created called the UCM Traveling Exhibits Building.
So competency H says each graduate of the Master of Li Library and Information Science program is able to demonstrate proficiency in identifying, using, and evaluating current and emergent merging information and communication technologies. As librarians, we absolutely must be able to evaluate and use the technologies our patrons are using, such as social media networks and makerspaces. Obviously, vir vir virtual worlds fills it this category as well. For my evidence, I used a presentation I did on a machinima I made for a requirement in a course I took that, that took place entirely in Second Life. So again, this is um, one of Lori's 287 classes. Um, we were required to do a machinima on our character, and I created this, um, this machinima, and then I did a presentation on how I created the machinima, and what that did was that covered all kinds of different technologies that I used in order to create it. And so that was the point was to was to show that I could use that I used several different technologies to create this this uh, this video. So competency I says each graduate of the Master of Library and Information Science program is able to use service concepts, principles, and techniques to connect individuals or groups with accurate, relevant, and appropriate information. Again, here I'm only focusing on a small part of this competency, in this case, the Reader's Advisory Service. For this competency, I use my volunteer experience as a director, as the director of the InWorlds Community Library. In this case, I researched and created a list of books related to an exhibit we put on that was focused on folklore. I then made books in world for ex for exhibit goers to explore. And then competencies K says that each graduate must design instructional programs based on learning principles and theories. And for this competency, I focus on how librarians are also teachers. And my evidence was an assignment I had for a 287 course, the th a third 287 course that I took that um, was also done in virtual worlds that later chapter. This was an exhibit I created to teach about the history of science during the scientific revolution. And competency M states that we have to demonstrate oral and written communication skills necessary for professional work, including collaboration and presentations. We need to show we are effective communicator, which is probably the most important skill a librarian needs. For my evidence, I used a presentation I put together for another 287 course that was taught completely in world. I gave a presentation on architecture in Tudor England and actually gave, gave it again on Renaissance Island at the request of the director there. So to conclude this rapid fire presentation, I showed that I was able to use my virtual world experience, including coursework, internships, and volunteer work as evidence for eight different competencies. I don't know if you guys counted that, but it really was eight. Um, if anyone is interested in seeing the ePortfolio in its entirety, it is currently public. All um, identifying information has been scrubbed. And the URL is in the chat window here. Thank you for your kind attention.